Doors opening. Fucking doors. So what are three drunk boys doing in an elevator on their own? Dude, what are three drunk Dave people doing in one. Sydney during a fucking pandemic? Photography? Doors <laughs> opening. Big up trap, big up trap. Scooter, scoot, 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 scoot. Sydney. I have been having so much fun with both the boys, but Liam next to me here, and Mike's in the back. Hey. And tonight, we're actually going for a photo shoot again in the city. What a surprise. Liam's actually contacted a friend of theirs called Demis. I've actually been following him for a very long time. So I'm really, really excited to go and meet him. He's a fantastic photographer that's based in Sydney. He's going to show us a few locations. Liam's also filming a POV photography shoot with a model. So we're going to leave him to that. But we're all just going to be hanging out and uh, overall get some photos. <laughs> I have someone uh, special for you guys to meet. I haven't actually met him before, but I'm excited oh, to shoot with him. Hey, How are you? I'm Chris. So this is Demis, everybody. Um, he's an amazing Sydney photographer. Demis oh, doesn't know who I am, but I've been following him for a while. You do? Oh. Okay. Insane photography. Definitely go check out uh, what he does. And you, you well, obviously you live here. I do. So you know like the streets yeah. and kind of where to take us. Yeah. Awesome. Well, I'm so excited to be to be shooting with you tonight. So awesome, nice to meet you, man. majority of the urban environment. I know there's still some places that we haven't been. Obviously our time's very limited here in Sydney and so I'm excited to go get some nature in me. Nature in you? Yeah, you're gonna get it in ya. Bro, I'm keen to honestly just, because the past, the past four days, so you cut it, the past four days. Yeah, yeah. The past four days have just been going hectic in the city, just every single day we've been shooting. So I'm keen to just get away to nature, take yeah, in the fresh air and just yeah. breathe. And just relax a little. Out. It was a very nice place. It actually reminds me of a place called the Grampians back in Melbourne. I personally found it quite hard to photograph specific areas. The lighting was quite harsh and I found that the background obviously remains quite consistent so it's it's hard to mix it up. However, we are heading off now to get a feed and I'm sure Alex and Monica and Gab also have some other cool spots in mind that we'll go to next. <music> We 
woken up for sunrise this morning because we want to catch, well, the sunrise. And uh, it's fucking freezing. I've only woken up for sunrise. This is my second time. The first time was when we went to the Grampians and that was probably one of the most amazing experiences I've ever had being above the clouds. So as I look to my left, I can see the sun just starting to kind of glow up over the horizon. It's, it's still early, but I think it's gonna start rising in about seven o'clock. We got about 30 minutes. We're unsure as to whether it's gonna be a good one or a bad one, but me and the boys are just discussing and we said that it doesn't really matter what the end result is. We're just happy that we got up early, regardless of how the sunrise turns out. Uh, we're just happy that we're all up with the boys giving it a red-eye crack. anywhere after we actually woke up for sunrise and went to that lookout we went to a few places but they were closed kind of sucked but honestly I'm extremely exhausted especially because of the past two days going a bit late and waking up early I'm actually really excited to just go check into a hotel in the city relax edit some photos and potentially watch a movie so Gab's leaving <laughs> anyway, <laughs> see you bro we'll see you soon right next time we're in Sydney We've woken up early again this morning. We're going to make our way down to Melbourne. This way the, the road trip is actually a little bit easier for us and we can still tick off a few photography locations on the way. Just come into a breakfast joint so we can get a nice juicy breakfast and then we'll uh, get back on the road. their kind of thing here they're looking for different angles they're swapping around with all the lenses that they have Mike just chucked on the 35 millimeter I think they're trying to incorporate this huge bridge alongside with the waves crashing on the rock it is quite a cool location I'm not really focusing on much photography I've got my film camera here I'm just trying to document it you know show you guys overall what's happening here We just finished up at this awesome location. It was actually really cool. Now we're gonna head over to another location. It's a tunnel. So far, it's been a pretty good day. I'm 
there you have it guys. We drove to Canberra that day and then we stayed the night there and then drove to Melbourne after that. It was an unbelievably amazing trip and I'm so grateful to both the boys for getting me on board and showing me around. I really wanted to thank Alex and Monica specifically for letting us stay at their cabin that night, the night before we woke up for sunrise. And I wanted to also thank everyone that we did catch up with, including Gab and Demis in Sydney for showing us around and being so hospitable. I had a great time. I actually can't believe how much fun I had considering I only moved across one state. I would definitely do it again. Trying to document it all was extremely enjoyable and I really, really hope you guys have enjoyed watching part one and part two now. I'm recording this on my iPhone because my audio jack actually broke recently, so it's getting fixed at the moment, but uni has finished and I have a lot of time to create content for you guys now, so get excited for that. I am very excited to bring out some more creative stuff. Once again, I hope you enjoyed this video, and if you would like to give me a like and potentially subscribe, then I would also really appreciate that as well. Once again, guys, thank you so much for everything, and uh, yeah. Let's keep going up from here. Doors opening. Fucking doors. So what are three drunk boys doing in an elevator on their own? Dude, what are three drunk boys doing in one. Sydney during a fucking pandemic? Photography. <laughs> Big up trap, big up trap, big up trap, screwed up, screwed, screwed, screwed. Stay drunk to the feet, make ticks on fleet. Fuck with it, fuck me, fuck shoddy, fall free. Ain't no killers, I'm just killing all these beats. Oh, yeah. Ain't no killers, I'm just killing all these beats. Oh, oh my god, that was fun. I like when we were 15 again. Yeah, that was great. <laughs> fuck that.